Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Mary and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I make a wagon out of craft sticks. Normally I would have a picture to show you but since I took the wagon to my crafting event and forgot to bring it back so yeah we're just going to go ahead and make one and what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need some shears or scissors something to cut with you're going to need popsicle sticks you're going to need a little wooden dowel you're going to need bottle caps off of a water bottle off of a water bottle or a pop bottle or you can use cardboard paper and if you use cardboard all you have to do is take this and trace it and then cut it out but since mine's is going to be outside, I will not be using cardboard because if it rains, it's just not going to work. So yeah, you're going to need the and you're going to need um wood glue or hot glue. But for the video, I'm going to go ahead and use hot glue and then um this won't be setting outside. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing. So there we have it that turned down so basically what we're gonna do is I've already cut out this uh, cut the ends off my popsicle stick and uh, basically all I done was took my shears and just cut the end then took a measurement and cut the other so basically you just cut the ends off and I did that for two different sizes because you're going to need different sizes so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and line these up so this is the first step and then you're going to take your smaller stick and you're just going to place that up against it and you you want to space them out so that the stick fits so we're just going to space this out just a little bit more because I didn't I didn't I do not take measurements I just eyeball it unless I'm building a house out of popsicle sticks then I'll take a measurement but I just put some hot glue on here and we're just going to lightly and stick this here And I'm just going to slide that up under there before it take before it dries. And there we have that one. And we're going to do that again. Just going to put some hot glue on it and stick it down. Move that one to the side. Go to your next one. And we can just use this for a reference. So all I'm doing is taking these and putting it up against here so I can see where the next set of sticks should be and then we're just gonna line it up we're gonna grab our other two um, popsicle sticks and we're just gonna go ahead and cut put some glue on and stick it down I'm gonna space this out a little bit And then we're just going to stick this down. Just like this. And now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm just going to make sure I got everything lined up. Grab some more hot glue and stick this down and we have these two done we're gonna move those and we're gonna bring all the other ones we got these two and I need to cut out four more of these, four more of these. so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my popsicle stick and I'm gonna take it and measure and we're just gonna cut
and you should have eight. And I need to cut out, cut one more. And there we have that. So now what we're going to do is to, we're going to take these and we're going to just line them up. And then we're going to cut out another. Okay. So now I'm just going to see how well this lines up. So I'm going to cut out two more, uh, two more that's this size because that's the perfect size. And we're going to cut one more. I have to watch out for the little popsicle stick pieces that pops over all over the place because my little doggie will grab them and run with them. So she can chew them up later. I keep forgetting I need to cut two more of the other ones. So, yeah. There we go. Normally, I would already have these cut out, and I thought I miscounted myself when I cut these out earlier. So, I was too short. Oh, so, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do, now that we got this evened up, we're going to go ahead and stick it down. And there we have that one. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And we're just going to stick that down. So we have two. Now let's do this one. I'm going to use this as a reference. Now, um, normally I'm not into fairy gardens, and but... Um, I've been working on a spot in my yard, and so I decided to just go ahead and do one. Um, so, yeah, that's what these little things are for. I've already made a wheelbarrow that um, is already um, going to be placed in the yard, and then I decided to go ahead and do a wagon, and I'll be doing a, a waterfall and fountains and all of that other stuff. All of that will be out there in the garden. In my little flower garden. So yeah. And then the last thing we're going to do. Is. Put some glue on this one. I'm going to put a little more at the top. And we're just going to stick this down. Just like that. And now we have. All four. And then we'll start putting it together. We're just going to stick that like this. But I want to turn this around because I want my my pieces to face out. I stuck that in the on wrong. This these ends here, I want those to face out. But it's cool because this when the hot glue dries on wood, you could just peel it right off. So yeah. All right. So let's do this again. Here we go. That's how I want it. In the back. Turn this out, and then we're just going to stick that on just like this. Going to let that dry. And we're going to do the same thing down here. We're just going to, I'm just going to peel a little bit of this glue off that dried on me.
and I'm just going to put a little bit down here and we're just going to stick this into place just like that and lastly we're going to go ahead and put this on just like this And I'm just laying a layer of glue across here because this is going to go right down on top. And here is the base of our wagon. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take some more craft sticks and we're going to cut the ends off. Grab my knife, I mean my uh, shears. And I'm just going to cut. And I'm going to grab me a pen. And I am going to lay this across. And we're just going to mark where we need to cut. Right there. And I'm just going to clip it. And we need, I'm going to at least do maybe three or four. So we're just going to. Cut, even these up, and we'll do one more. And now I'm going to take my hot glue, we're just going to put a little on the ends like this and we're just going to stick it down and we're going to continue to do that and you don't have to cover the whole bottom just you can space these sticks out that's what I'm doing I'm going to go ahead this on slide this in put this one here I may do I may have to cut one more so let me just go ahead and take a measurement before I glue that so we're just gonna cut it in I'm going to grab some glue, stick this here, and we're going to put our last one into place. And there we have it. This is the bottom, and this is the top. Now, your bottle caps. If you decide to use these, I got these off of a water bottle. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue here. And we're just going to stick that right there. And we're just going to hold it for a little bit. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to turn this facing the opposite way. That way the flat end of the pop bottle be up against here. Like I'm going to take this part and I'm going to turn it this way. Because that way the flat end uh, 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 be flat. It'll be flush with it. And I think that'll make it hold a lot better. So we're just going to go ahead and add some more. Add another lid and I'm going to turn this over and we're going to do the same thing to this side. And I'm just going to leave that just like that and let that have time to dry 
In the meantime, I'm going to take my wooden dowel and I'm just going to cut it. I'm just going to cut a little bit off because I'm not sure how long I want my handle just yet. So we're going to grab our wagon and let me see here. Yep, I think that works perfectly. I'm going to take my one of the ends of the popsicle stick and I am going to put a, a dollop of glue on it. And we're just going to go ahead and stick this on just like this. And you're going to hold this here until it dries. And it won't take long. And I'm going to stick it. Maybe here. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. And I am going to stick that here, just like this. I'm going to hold that up. And I'm going to hold this here for a minute. There we go. I'm going to put a little more glue on on here because I don't like the way it's sitting. So we're just going to put some glue here and here. And then I am going to stick this right here just like that. And I'm going to take my finger and get any extra glue off. And then I'm going to scrape this little bit off. Okay. I'm just going to grab another one. I'm just going to go ahead and cut here. And we're just going to stick that right here. And I'm going to put that stick right there. And that's where that's going to go. Then I am going to take my wood piece okay. and then we're going to take, let's see which one is the longest, they're about the same. We're going to go with this one and I'm just going to put some glue on here and then we're just going to stick this here just like this. And we got to hold this here while it dries. I'm just blowing on it a little bit. Actually, I think I'm going to move that up a little. So we're just going to put this here. I think I like it better up here. Yeah, I think it's going to look better here. The first one I did, I had it down at the bottom, but we're just going to go ahead and put it and go with it this way. And we're just going to let that set here until it dries. Because I want this I want this handle to be able to reach out like that. And then we're going to take and we're just going to cut a little piece of the hand of the stick don't need much and then we're just going to go ahead and put a little dab of glue here like this and then we're just going to stick this right here just like this and there's your little wagon all you have to do now if you choose to is to paint it and you don't have to use these wheels. You can use bottle caps, pop bottle caps for your um for your wagon if you want to. So this is it. And all I'm gonna do now is uh, paint this, but I'm not gonna do that on camera. I'm gonna paint this, and I'm gonna paint my wheels black, 
and I think I might paint the wagon red. I think that I think that well, red is my favorite color. So yeah, um, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna paint it red, and this is it. And I'm gonna go ahead now and turn my camera back up so y'all can see me. And there you have it. And that is it for this video. Fun little quick craft, a little wagon that you can paint and make it your own. You can bedazzle it or bling it out. It's really up to you. A mice is going to stay plain and simple because, like I mentioned, it's going to go in my yard. I will put a stain on this and a finish. That way it won't get ruined if it rains. Um, so, yeah, and that's it. And once again, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see me do any other type of video, please let me know in the comment box below. And with that being said, I hope you all have a nice day. Bye.